Um, then the Mini had um, a double wishbone in the front, mm -hmm. double arm. Um, as the modern cars have these MacPherson struts. And the double wishbones, they have an advantage because you can have the camber change easier when the wheel moves in, which you can't get with MacPherson. So when the car is down, the, 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 you get more negative yes. camber. The, yes. But you get the opposite effect when the car is jumping. That's right. And that's just you can see in the pictures of the old mm. pictures of me. You have, but it, it only means when you then land and the wheels go from positive camber to negative, that your track width changes. Yeah. But that has no importance because the wheels are sliding anyway. Yeah. Okay. So the construction of the suspension was also an advantage. Um, the independent suspension with all four wheels in those days, in the late 50s and early 60s, was a novelty. Today we take it for, advant uh, take it for granted. Um, but in those days the cars had beam axles and cart springs and yes, yes. these uh, old-fashioned things. It's very funny. I wish that very many modern cars would have these rigid axles. Okay. Because an independent suspension has a problems when the joints wear out, that your wheels are not any more accurately positioned. No. Okay. But in those days, the independent suspension, it was, uh, 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 let's say, advantage, because the shock absorbers then were not at all on the same level as they were today. No. There weren't very many cars which had these. Um, Pressurized shock absorbers, gas filled. And that means that a normal uh, shock absorber, especially the ones uh, used in the older cars, which had a disarm okay, type the, shock absorber, yeah, the lever arm, yeah. the lever arm uh, they had very small amount of oil which got hot. And when the oil gets hot, it starts uh, boiling and yeah. you have the froth, mm -hmm. which means that within three kilometers on a, or on a corrugated road, there were no, you had no shock absorbers. And when the weight of the axle, the rigid axle, was heavy, the shock absorber couldn't stop it vibrating. So then it was important with the shock absorbers, the beautiful ones we can have today on any car, it's not anymore for driving dynamics important to have an independent suspension. The only okay. advantage today which you get from independent suspension is that you don't have a moving diff in the back. Yeah. Which, which means that your, your rear seats can go further back. Yes. Because in the old cars you would have the differential just behind. The, the rear seats. The rear, just behind. Yeah. Today the rear seats go, go over the rear axle. Yes. Because there is nothing there. Okay. So we've covered the suspension, the, uh, the wheels, although I must ask a question about those, um, and the general Wait. Well, uh, the point was that because as you said, because the independent suspension, we did not need as efficient shock absorbers okay. as the competitors who had rigid axles. Yeah, that was an advantage. So the, the the shock absorbers of the time were not particularly special for the mini. They were not. Uh, no, they were, they were normal liquid. Whatever is coming from this, the the um, production line. Uh, no, we. Uh, um, they were specially made sports shock absorbers. Okay. Many different makes. Coney is one Coney that I remember. Coney was known especially because you could adjust it. Yes, with the turning of the yes. top part. Yeah. Whereas I personally don't think that uh, the thing that you can adjust on shock absorber uh, is necessarily an advantage because mm -hmm. it is practically impossible if you don't have a test rig to adjust two shock absorbers the same. It's nearly impossible. So you get a different behaviour at each slightly, corner? Slightly. Most people wouldn't even notice it. So no. I mean, for, so for road difficult. driving that would not be a problem. But you would, uh, the point is having an adjustable shock observer. He said you could have one shock observer and when you change your springs you could then change your settings. Okay. That is the main point. But the springs with the Mini were not changeable. They are rubber cones of a fixed uh, dimension. A rubber cone can, a character, character can be changed. By preloading it or by by taking a, a hand drill and drilling holes. True. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you can get a more progressive spring if you want. 
Yes. That was done. I, I remember that being done. But not so much. I've been doing it lately when I've been uh, especially racing histori okay. historics, historic races for the minis. I have made them more progressive. And the reason is why I need more progress progressive suspension for racing is to have more, as we call it, a troop to win to come out. Which, so was a, which was a problem with the Mini. It wasn't enough. You want the car to start off lower down? No. Well, yes, you anyway for racing. Yeah. But when you get the car lower down, then the wheel doesn't come out enough. Right. That's the spring. Mm -hmm. It's so hard that it doesn't mm -hmm. have enough this light force. Okay. It's, it takes the weight of the car. Yeah. It takes the bumps. But it doesn't press the wheel out when the car is bouncing. And by removing rubber, this seems counterintuitive, by removing rubber you are making more of this Yes, light force. because it means that when you then compress it, mm -hmm. it's, it's in the beginning softer and the wheel goes mm -hmm. in. And then you have to spring action start. So this part, mm -hmm. when you use the wheel to be pressed out. Mm -hmm. okay. It's the same principle in theory as having two B springs, which is mm -hmm. uh, a must today in any rally car and sports car. Yeah. Or progressive springs, there are also... Not enough. A, a progressive no. spring makes a car spongy to drive. Okay. It is for shopping. <laughs> comfort. It is good for shopping and yeah. comfort, but it is not for sport. No. Okay, so the springs themselves were no advantage. The rubber springs, apart from fitting they, in the was small car... In the, in the, in, not for sport, but it was an advantage for the normal driver. Yeah. Because that means that with that rear suspension the Mini had, it was all below the floor. And it wouldn't take any space away from the car. Mm. Because in, in most cars, you, ha you have the wheel, the rear wheel, the wheel arch. Yeah. And the wheel arch must be able to accommodate a rather big shock absorber. So it and, comes, the, it, it and the spring. It takes space out of the car. So the minis had the shock absorbers mm -hmm. within the wheel arch, but but the mini had the actual spring below the floor in the back. So more space inside. Yes, which is why it was done in the first place. Yes, to, but to it, for the sport makes no difference. Okay. Because we don't have passengers normally. No.